Genesis chapter 26. Uh, you can read uh, the whole of it. And uh, John chapter 15. These are the, the, the portions of the word of God we have just entered into. And in Daniel chapter 12. We are in a season of the fulfillment of Luke chapter 21 and Matthew chapter 24. Now, why I have come on board is because as I waited on God this morning on the altar, the Lord quickened my spirit and uh, I heard a voice of the spirit and he said the world has entered into a season of global recession. Uh, wow, I have always said I like it when the Spirit of God teaches me some of these vocabularies. And, uh, you know, as I was just meditating, the Spirit of God told me that's why the Bible says that the Spirit of God will teach us all things. So I sat down in my office and I was checking what is recession. What is recession? Hallelujah. I've always told you, don't mind about, about my pronunciation because of where I was born. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we thank God, at least we can communicate. And and you are able to understand at the word of God. Hallelujah. So the, uh, the Lord has, as uh, the Spirit of God has said, we have just, you know, uh, gotten into that season right now. So there's a shift this particular morning. And I was when I was checking the date, I saw it is 12th of um, of April. Uh, we know that um, depending on the calendar of where you're coming from. And where this word is going to be heard or watched uh me i'm very cautious about dates and i'm very cautious about what god is saying when and uh, and uh, the, the shift in the spiritual realm now um i want to prepare you we have been saying these things and now we are in that season of the fulfillment so before i talk about recession let me uh, bring you to uh, the updated uh, platform prophetically of where we are so we are stepping uh you know at that platform of god introducing the new of his god is introducing the new of his and what you are going to realize and what you're going to see is that the foundations of men will be shaken we have prepared you that even some ancient bridges physical bridges are coming down physical monuments are coming down and i'm also praying that uh even as you listen to me it is morning in my continent that you pray for your journeys if the lord says you don't board a fright don't board it because uh i prepared you the other time uh because of what the globalists have decided to do in this hour they have uh, these are things that were prepared more than 15 years ago some people have been uh, you know burning midnight oil the globalist uh, to be able to uh, to to um I mean, to, to capture uh, the attention of, of humanity and not only to capture, but also to control humanity. So now this, they have put in place, you know, some levels of doing that. And one of the things that you have realized in the past few years, even through COVID, is that they, are, they want to, con I mean, they want to reduce the population because now uh, human beings are too many. They are not able to do whatever they want to do. And um and as people have been asking me, prophetess, can't we pray away this is? If you, you are ready to pray about them, you pray about them. But what we need to do is to align ourselves to the season of God. I told you from the beginning, uh, when Jesus is talking to the disciples in the book of Matthew chapter 24, he's not telling them to concentrate on the signs of editors. He's telling them when you see, because you are going to see. And he's telling them what to do when they see, what to do when they see. So our concentration is in this hour is when we see what what we are seeing and what God is allowing us to see because we are still here on earth. You no, know, we should be asking the Spirit of God, how do we handle ourselves? What do we do? How do we live? Because Jesus has not come back for us yet. So how do we live? So we are in a season uh, the globalists are busy introducing whatever they are introducing and I told you as the world and the globalists and the kingdom of darkness and the new world order, they are the head of that, as they will be introducing the new world order, you know going this way, hallelujah. And you remember what the Bible says in the book of Daniel, we can no 
knowledge will increase and of course when the knowledge increases wickedness will increase and on the other hand in the kingdom of God we are acquiring more knowledge the spirit of God is teaching us the more hallelujah that's what I've told us before these two kingdoms are working concurrently hallelujah it is very very parallel amen so the focus of the remnants of God's people is on what the kingdom of God is saying it's on what heaven is saying not on what uh, the kingdom of darkness is, is, is doing that's why Paul is telling us admonishing us that we should not be ignorant of the devices we should not be ignorant you know uh, uh, let me tell you in the season of our ignorance god forgive but this time around we cannot be ignorant hallelujah and uh, let me tell you uh we are in a season of the outpouring of the spirit of god we are still in that uh, in that uh, generation so let me tell you the spirit of god will always quicken you uh do this here one two three four things hallelujah in the name of jesus so it's a season to be very very alert in our spirit so we are in a moment where god is is introducing the new of his now as i talk this as the lord is introducing the new of his um uh, the, the the globalist or the new world order the kingdom of darkness that is working with the governments in the world and, and are giving a lot of money so that people can fit in and the governments can fit in whatever they they want done on earth i want you to know that it is a fulfillment of the word of god in the book of uh, uh you know second i mean second timothy chapter three there are so many scriptures hallelujah there you know uh, uh, you know second peter uh i believe chapter two let me confirm that uh, for us um let me just confirm that in a short moment i'm never harassed with the time let me confirm that for us hallelujah let me confirm that for us um in one second hallelujah allow me to confirm that amen yes uh in the book of second peter it is true in the book of second peter uh you know you can read all of it and see uh, about the false teachers about you know you can read all that so uh, we, we are in that fulfillment we are in that season and uh, uh romans chapter one from verse 18 and going down there this is what you are seeing the lgbtq uh, something that is even animals cannot uh cannot go that direction now and now second that the, the second the Saron Yes, chapter 2 you can read all those scriptures for yourself i love the word of god so we are in a season of the fulfillment of all those scriptures so what do i uh, and i prepared us and i know other prophets have also done so that in this hour we are going to see uh the slowing down of what we have been holding on things like internet things like power things you know electricity things that we really need so you're going to see the slowing down of these things and um i've been telling us you know uh, that whatever you have been seeing as a you know power put off in some regions in put off I've, I've experienced this in my nation power goes off in a nation for two three days then you are like my god how you know how do we work how do we survive you know even the food you have put in your freezer and all that you know it, it's not it, it, it's not a, a valuable any more hallelujah so uh, we need to to, to to get prepared because why these things are not just you know happening when you see power go off in a nation you know i mean when you see power goes off in a nation it's not just somebody has okay i'm not that, that the systems in a, in a, this nation another one and another one that uh, those systems are, are bad no it is something that is being released you know it's like at least masters something is being released you know i was telling you the other day it's like the way uh you know when you, when you want to feed the chicken you can you know you can play around with them you know you throw one maize one maize you know a uh, 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 one seedling of a, a, a maize or something you know something little by little little by little so that is what the, the tactics the devil is using using his agent so they are releasing little by little of what they the eventually they are going to do massively so very soon nations will be in darkness one week one month three months and they are saying we are working on systems my god hallelujah banks you go to the bank i was speaking to my bankers yesterday and i was telling them you're going to go to the bank because yesterday the the, the, the the first part of the morning hours up to around you know midday or there or past the midday the bank system in my nation were down so i told my bankers and i told them you have no seen here these things are coming down they'll be crushed they're coming down you know very soon you're going to come to work and the whole day two days three days you're not leaving Report to work because why we, that is where we have entered it and I'm not scaring anybody we have been preparing us for this uh, from 2017 we have been speaking these things by by the grace of God as the grace of God I mean the God is opening our eyes deeper in the spirit uh, to get to know you know to get to know what uh, what we expect so that when we see these things you know we are not harassed we are not um, 
we do not fear so we are in a season god is introducing the new of his i came here for god myself me i'm an ambassador of that kingdom so <laughs> I am an ambassador of the kingdom of God. So I'm here to uh, to speak to the lemnas of God's people and to tell the church that we are in a season where our father is also introducing the new, as the globalists are introducing the new world order. On the other hand, our father in heaven is introducing his new in the name of Jesus. So I want us to know amidst what is going to happen that we are supposed to uh, to to, to uh, enforce, uh, enforce and enjoy the finished work of the cross in totality in our now. The other thing we need to know is that our value in the God is unshakable. Our value in him is, is unshakable because our value is in Christ Jesus. When our Father in heaven is looking at us, the Bible says we are hidden with Christ in him. Hallelujah. So we are already, when our Father is seeing our, our Savior Jesus Christ seated on his, on his right hand, he is seeing us in him. Hallelujah. So our value is unshakable. So despite what, what will come on earth, our value is unshakable. Despite what came on, uh, you know, in Babylon during the time of Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and, and Daniel, their value as sons of God was unshakable, unchangeable. Hallelujah. You know, the value of Joseph in Egypt in that, uh, you know, a, a generation uh, or in that nation where people were idol worshippers, the value of the son of Jesus Jacob was unchangeable. It was unshakable. Hallelujah. That is why he was able to start, you know, to, to start on his ground and remain a righteous young man. You know, even when a temptation came his way, that was the obvious. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. My goodness. Hallelujah. So, uh, so the other thing we need to know uh, is that it is a time to keep our hope alive. Keep your hope alive. And, uh, you know, Hebrew chapter 12, verse 2, you know, the focus this time must be. I'm not saying should be. It must be. If you focus on government, they are going to bring laws and regulations where you cannot fit in, where you cannot flow with. So our focus in this hour must be on the outer and the finisher of our faith. Who is Jesus Christ? I've been telling us, even this social media platform we are using, soon they are going to begin shutting down, slowing down and slowing down because they begin slowing down the internet where the source of the internet is coming from then our facebook is affected our 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 youtube is affected we are going to see soon i've been telling you we shall not be able to communicate even the way we are doing it that's why i'm saying we are taking advantage of every opportunity that god is giving us because very soon and then after they have done all those things they want to do they will now come up and now bring solutions and now they will show you now this is the right way for the security of humanity and if i don't know for what for unity and for peace you know and what so they'll come up with the solution and anybody born again you know that is the preparation of the operation of the antichrist you know what the bible says go and read the word of god study the word of god in the book of revelation some of you say revelation is difficult read that book you know with the help of the spirit of god i have a son when he was young he finished it by himself <laughs> hallelujah so just read the word of god amen so uh we, it is a very prime season it's a very prime season and the lord has spoken remember last sunday i spoke to us and god called it the quickening of things a season where the quickening we are going to see the quickening of this so in this quickening of this we are going to see the fulfillment of both the logos and the rema you're going to see that in our now in the name of jesus so why i spoke about uh, thank you holy spirit why i spoke about uh john chapter 15 is because this is time to dwell you know, I love what the Bible says in Luke chapter 18. Remember the story that is there about the persistent, you know, the persistent woman, the persistent widow uh, to, to another king. So we are, we are, we, we are going to, uh, we are, we are, we are called to to persist we are called to remain there we are called to uh, to sit there we are called to uh you know dwell us psalm 91 and verse 1 you know psalm, psalm 91 i'm looking yes persistent we do so i'm looking for those scriptures because i realize there are some people who just wait and you know, wait for that small mistake she's even misquoting scripture but let me tell you the girl before you i'm never affected by the conclusion of men <laughs> God has really taken us through some processes, my God. So any conclusion of a man, by the way, as long as I know there is no word like that in the, in the Bible, <laughs> whether I've quoted the right scripture or not, although it is good to quote the right scripture. By the way, the original Bible does not have the scriptures. It is a scroll. <laughs> I have it. It's just a scroll. You go to the internet and, and Google it and then download it. I have a download of that. Then the, the original Bible, it has no scriptures. So I, and it's just, brrr, so you read like, a, like the way you read a, a novel, you know, 
know, you just read it. Hallelujah. You know? So what am I saying? So we need to be dwellers. We need to to stick there. We are sons of God. And I, I've, I've always said, can I clarify this? Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Let me tell you, the Bible says many are called. That means we can have many people who have said, you know, who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and confessed with their mouth. But we have few chosen. We have few chosen. So among the called, we also have the chosen. And these ones that are chosen, hallelujah, these are the people he has justified. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, he has justified and he has glorified. Hallelujah. You know, he, uh, the, the called ones are the ones he has predestined. He has justified and he has also glorified. Because why they are chosen among the called, then he has chosen. Hallelujah. And I pray. And these are the people he can entrust with whatever assignment, you know, he needs a accomplished or in, a, in any season in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So among us, um, you know, us who have said we are born again, we have, we, we, I have already told us, we have the opportunity, you have the power, it, it, the power is within us to choose to be sons of God or not. So you can confess Jesus Christ and you can say I'm a believer, but you're not a son because why? The sons of God are those specifically, Paul is specifying this, those that are read by the Spirit of God. Uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 14. So we must desire, we we must purpose. We must purpose to remain as sons. And sons are we are dwellers and we are heirs with the Christ. My God, whatever is our fathers, we are heirs with the Christ. My God, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So um our spiritual antenna in this season must be very alert, must be very alert. So I want us to prepare. I want us to prepare in this season. I want to, to just say three things, even as uh, you remember uh, I came to release that word as the Spirit of God has spoken to me about global session. So I'll tell you what uh, what, what you expect from this hour what do you expect from this hour so genesis chapter 26 uh there was such as you know a season of famine uh, you know and uh, isaac finds himself there and god is instructing him stay in the land i'm going to show you so isaac stays in a land that has physical famine hallelujah and uh, god is promising as i was with my servant abraham you know your father i will be with you for the sake of my 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 my, my servant abraham i will be with you one to his promising he's even bringing forth some of the promises that god uh, you know where he had made to abraham he's now renewing them in the season of isaac hallelujah and uh, god is informing isaac now for you you are not going to go the direction of your father when there was such a famine in your father's time he went down to egypt but for you, you are going to stay in the land I'm going to show you. And what do we see? Physically, God is not, uh, uh, you know, physically, economically, socially, and all that. God is distincting Isaac. And Isaac is able to fit in, in that which God is doing in that season of physical famine in that nation. Hallelujah. He is even planting because why? You know, God has, you know, God has raised his standard. And this is why the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of God God, you know, raises a standard high for us. So we are already operating on that race standard by the Spirit of God. And that's why I told us the other day, the transaction between us and what is happening around us this hour is from two things. Hallelujah. The power from on high and the Spirit of God. The power from on high and the Spirit of God. Because why? Let me tell you, because our kingdom is a kingdom of power. It's a kingdom in power, depending on the version of your Bible. It's not just a kingdom in words. So we are going to operate in power. And this power comes from from the spirit of God. The Bible says Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. You know, you know the power will come upon you when the spirit of God will come upon you, you shall receive power. Hallelujah. So the powers that, that now you can connect that. So the sons of God, you know, that are led by the Spirit of God, they are able to operate in power because why? When the Spirit of God comes upon you, then you receive the power. Hallelujah. And this is also what the Bible says. You, you know, they received the power because why? It is the Spirit of God who, that pulls us to receiving Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Those who believed in Him, it is the Spirit of God that help, enables us to believe in Him. And when we believe in Him, we, they receive the power because it is a connection and the transaction of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. So three things are going to uh, be very key in this hour. Now, in the book of Romans chapter 12, you know, uh, the Bible says in verse 2 that we should 
should be transformed. And that, that, that down there, there's the renewing of our mind. And that comes from the word of God. Amen. So in this season, uh, for us to be able to fit in here and to fit in well, in that which God is accomplishing with us and uh, the fulfillment of the season of, you know, prophetically in, the, in our in our generation. Now, any, anything that God wants to be a part of, he's bringing what he has called transitional transformation. Transitional transformation. That means, my brethren, uh, it is not just being transformed. It is a transformation, an inner transformation. This is what we are seeing with someone like Bartimaeus. You know, in, what is what is happening to him? He's able to act on something he has never acted on it. I mean, on, because why? His transformation moment has come. So the trans the, the, that transformation is transitional. It is meant to take him to another chapter, another, you know, to introduce him to another chapter, another season in his life, another, you know, another the arena altogether. This is what we are seeing with people like Ejidas. People, he is able to believe. He was not a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is telling him, this one is not yours. You as just believe. So how is this man believing in Jesus, yet he had never dealt with him before? Transformation, I mean transitional transformation. Trans, I mean transitional transformation. This is what God is doing. This is why we see people like the woman with the issue of blood when it was time for God to bring to pass what he predestined for her. She is now not even concentrated on the failures of the past and the, all those things. Tra you know, transitional transformation causes her even to, to be able to do something else extra. Even if she had nothing, you know, she did not fear because it's not about her. And that's why Zechariah 4 will tell you in verse 6, my God, Zechariah, uh, Zechariah chapter, yes, will tell you it's not by might, it's not by power. Zerubbabel, it's not by might, it's not by power. This is by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So this is what is happening. So our inner being is being worked on by the Spirit of God, that power that has come upon us, so that we are able to fit in, in that which God wants us to undertake or to accomplish in this hour, in the name of Jesus. So it is a moment to totally surrender, yield to the Spirit of God. You know, you know there's a song that we sing and we say, and let the living waters flow over my life. Let, let the living, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hash. Let, let, the, let the living waters flow over my life. Ah, let your Holy Spirit come and take control. This is a song. Hallelujah. My God. And you know, I, I, I have been yelling a song this morning. You know, the, the Lord has been giving me a song. And the song is, you know, what we waited for. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. So those are some of the things. I mean, some of the songs that we those are, I hear the Lord say, these are the melodies of the hour. These are the melodies of the hour. My God, the world is going this way, but the Lord is doing something distinct. You know, this is why Malachi chapter 3 and verse 18 shall be fulfilled. God is bringing forth a demarcation, a clear one, a distinction between those who are serving him in righteousness and those who are not. So transformational, tra I, mean, tra I mean transitional transformation, transitional transformation. You not struggle, Mary of Nazareth, you know, you not struggle to fit in that which God has instructed. You know, this one has nothing to do with you. It's a season of God. So you have done whatever you have done in your past. So you are not going to struggle to fit in the new of God because why I've told us we are stepping on the platform of the new of God number two uh you what you're going to see because of the season uh, you know that 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 inner transformation that is very very transitional it is going to give us we are going to fight or we are going to be enabled to get the relevance of the season to get the relevance of the season what do we see the woman of of, of with the issue of blood is getting the relevance of the season hallelujah it's not about where she's coming from but Timaz is getting the relevance of the season uh you know people like joseph the relevance of the season that's why even when he appears before pharaoh he's getting the relevance because why of the season and because why already he had encountered the 
transitional transformation. I'm not a prisoner. I'm not a slave here. Hallelujah. I, you know, I'm not a captive here. My God, I am a son of God. So the inside, you know, made him appear before Pharaoh and do accomplish the assignment of God for that season. Hallelujah. So it is giving us, and we are also going to fight. That is that relevance of the season. So we shall be able to become relevant in this season, not according to the world, but according to the setup and the, the, the you know, the, the, the preordain of God and the predetermined of God in our generation and in our personal lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So this is calling for, for each one of us to be very diligent, to be very diligent, be very, very diligent, be very, very diligent. Number three, uh, in this hour, we are going to, you know, we, we are going to be able to live in the right posture. As sons of God, we are not here. We are sojourning. We don't belong here. The Bible says we are here, but we are not for here. We are sojourning. So we should be able to, uh, you know, uh, to, to maintain. We should be able to maintain the right posture. There is a posture for sons of God. As you do your business in the marketplace, there's a posture for sons of God. This is what we are seeing, the distinction of Isaac. And that's why John will tell you in John chapter 15, you know, when we abide there, hallelujah, you know, we shall be able to give, I mean, to to, to bear not much fruit but much fruit hallelujah much fruit and this is what where we are i mean is that chapter 27 and verse 6 you know those who return from jacob they'll be able to bear much fruit and fill the earth with the fruit not fruits hallelujah there is a fruit in chapter 5 and verse 22 this is where we are my goodness hallelujah so we shall be able to remain there remain a sons 24 7 so we shall do our business in our right posture we shall do our mar handle our marriages in the right posture we shall handle our children in that posture we shall everything about us around us it is going to be for him by him and in him in the name of jesus christ so now where are we in conclusion before i talk about the recession the global recession now we are in a season of the divine introduction of the best of god we are in a season and that's why of, of the divine introduction of the best of god i'm telling us this is why the bible says you know Haggai chapter 20 verse 9 the latter growth shall be greater so we are in that season of the introduction it is so divine the divine introduction of the best of god so you have not seen the best intercessors you are about to see them you have not seen the best farmers you are about to see them you have not seen the best you know governors you are about to see them people speaking in tongues full of the spirit of god hallelujah operating under the council performing miracles in their offices my god is erecting the dead my god in their companies and all over so we are going to see the best of god god is introducing us it is a divine introduction of the best of god in the name of jesus number two we are at the beginning of the beginning of god's new we are at the beginning of the beginning of god's new and what do we see uh when it happened in the book of john chapter two that beginning of the beginning of the best of god it is introducing jesus in his in his ministry number two it was the beginning of the miraculous and it was the best so you are going to see it is everything is revolving now you know around the best in the name of jesus christ hallelujah in the name of jesus christ so i came to pass this word that's what the lord has spoken to me today uh prepare yourself for global recession prepare and i say as i say this by the grace of god wow the spirit of god is all over here uh, my god hallelujah now listen to this as i say this as i say this church flex your spiritual muscles flex your, your spiritual muscles let nobody panic the bible says the judge shall live by faith we are here but not for here jesus has prayed for us and he has told the father i don't pray that you may, that you may remove them on earth or in the world but that you may keep them that you may preserve them you know uh, and jesus is saying i have i've conquered the world jesus is also even saying they will not they never loved him so they will not love us my god hallelujah so whether they loved isaac and they tried to chase him away that that did not change the position of isaac as a son of the promise Hallelujah. Did not change even whatever. At the end of the day, they had to look for him and sign a treaty and an agreement or an agreement, you know, on how they are going to live. Hallelujah. So global recession as this is happening i want the children of I, I want i don't i want the people of god to know i want the sons of god to know hallelujah that god is together with us god is together with us the other thing i want to prepare us is that we have just entered into a season where there is going to be a lot of persecution of the church of jesus christ the persecution will increase season of tribulation is here with us persecution will increase and but let me 
me tell you, there is a call. I was telling the church yesterday, the people I met yesterday, that you know there is a call from the heart of God about the quorum, the quorum. Don't be a own ranger, the two or three. The two or three, where you know, when two shall agree of us of a matter, this is a case scenario like what is happening in the book of Acts about Peter. James has been killed, held has gone for Peter, but the church has gone to pray for their own. Now, this is where we are, and because I told you I prepared you, I don't, another lockdown, a bad one is coming. I don't know how long it will take, but it will be a bad one, and it will be a, it will be longer, it will be a bad one, and it will, it will be a longer, a longer one. Now, listen to this as we are getting there. As we are getting there, this we are not able to pray away these things because even the other one got around and it, is, it was on our purpose. So, as these things are, God, just pray for your immunity and eat well and do have your food. Have your food now. What <laughs> I've spoken about these things before. So, what, what, what we are supposed to, to do in this season as things are going that direction is that we arm ourselves with the truth because the truth we know shall set us free. Number two, it is that truth the truth is the word of God, you know, where our faith is built because we are in a season where we shall not live by sight but we are going to live by faith. So, be wrong, have somebody you can talk to, have know somebody's house where you can just walk in as a lockdown, you can have a fellowship in the neighborhood. You can knock in the house of your neighbor. You can join hands and agree and pray and encourage each other. Pray together. Have a quorum of two in your life. Hallelujah. Have a quorum. Somebody you can join hands with. Somebody you can, you know, just enter in the house. You know, the, the distance of movement may be shortened, but then you can just knock in somebody. So my brother, my sister, let us pray. Let us fast together. Let us study the word. You know, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, recession. Recession. Global recession. That is where we have entered into from today from today i prepared my bankers yesterday i prepared my, my my the people who serve me in a certain bank i prepared them so what am i saying today now uh, prepare yourself for this there's going to be downturn there's going to be downturn there's going to be downswing hallelujah there's going to be slump i I'm, 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 i look for the synonym of this before i explain it there's going to be crunch there's going to be a decline there's going to be hard times it's going to be hard times because economically nations will go down business i mean companies will not make production i know enough production because the economy economies of the world will slow down there'll be economic crisis economic shutdown you know there'll be economic shutdown economic slowdown in some places economic crisis financial crisis this and that this may cause depression so how do we arm ourselves as sons of God? Hallelujah. You know, God worked with the people in the Bible, people like Elijah. Hallelujah. So we, the church of Jesus Christ should not go the direction of depression. Because why? We have known the season and our father is the owner of this earth. Hallelujah, the fullness they are in. So despite anything, but in the mid is I mean in the in the in the season God has given us right now, listen to your prophets. Do what you're supposed to do. Stock what you're supposed to stock. Farm where you're supposed to farm. Have your own vegetables in your own compound. Have your own milk and whatever God will enable you. Stock your water, whatever God will enable you. Stock your fuel, stop your gas and all that. Have your charcoal and firewood and all those things. Hallelujah. So that, you know, we, we live in wisdom. We live in wisdom as the Lord is going to enable you. So what you are going to see uh, as the global session, as the word has come from the Spirit of God, is what we are going to see the slowdown of economic uh, activities in all the nations. It is global. It is going to touch globally. It is going to be felt globally. Systems will shut down. Others will slow down. There will be financial crisis. You no, know, even companies, there'll be a lot of an, unemployment. Prophetess, what are you declaring? I'm not declaring. I'm, I'm just a messenger. I'm preparing you. I'm preparing you. Because when com companies cannot produce, and they, because of they're not getting the profit they're supposed to get, people lose jobs. People lose jobs. But what do we see? The Bible says people will lose so that the, the, you know, the remnants may have it. You can read the, your scriptures in the book of Isaiah. I love the word of God. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, can I read for you this? Let me read for you this. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Can we read, go to Isaiah 16? Eh? Let me read for you this. Before you start panicking and panting up there. You say, prophetess, Ooh, what do you do? What do you do? Stay in the Lord. <laughs> Stay in the Lord. Hallelujah. 
So I want to, to show you this. Um, uh, I want to show you this. <sighs> Hallelujah. Hmm. I'm looking for this. I'm never harassed with the time. I'm looking for what I really need, not the whole chapter. Um. Ah. Mm. Uh. Wow. I'm getting it. Don't worry. Hmm. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Yes, wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love my Holy Spirit. Therefore, that says the Lord. That is Isaiah chapter 65, verse uh, 13. Therefore, that says the Lord, uh, the Lord God. Behold, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry for soul of heart and wail for grief of, uh, of spirit. You shall leave your name as a curse to my chosen, for the Lord God will slay you and call his servants by, uh, by another name. So, uh, so that he who blesses himself on earth shall bless himself in the God of truth, and who swears in the earth shall swear by the God of truth, because the former troubles are forgotten, and because they are hidden from my eyes. Now, my concentration is here. The people who serve God, they will eat others. Will. So I want you to go and hold on that word. Uh, Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 13 going down there. Now you can, you can also uh, read Isaiah chapter 66. Behold, I'll extend peace to her like a river and the glory of the Gentiles like the flowing, uh, the flowing stream. Then you shall, uh, you shall, you shall feed uh, on her side. Um, on her side shall be... Uh, on, on her sides shall you be carried and be daddled on her knees. The Bible says, as one who has mother comfort, so I will comfort you and you shall be comforted in Jerusalem. So we, that means, my brethren, we must be found where, this is what God is showing Isaac, stay in the Lord, dwell, dwell, you know, dwell in the shelter of the Most High. So uh, that is it. Hallelujah. My God. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bones shall... No. Read Isaiah 65 and Isaiah 66 and you're going to rejoice in the presence of the Lord. So, economically from this day, you're going to witness it in your country. Uh, systems are coming down. You'll go to bank. They are not operating in three days. You have kept your money there. You'll go to hospital. Uh, systems are down. If there is a testing that's supposed to be done, uh, unless they have a backup, and uh, the backup again, very soon they will not be able to access the fuel. So whatever, you know, there's going to be economic crisis. It is going to be felt all over in the world. It's going to be felt all over in the world. Prophet as well, you say, I'm just saying what the Lord has sent me to tell us and to prepare us for the season. I'm also here. <laughs> Did you know when when uh, Prophet Elijah prophesied about the famine three and a half years, he was also there. Hallelujah. But what do you see? You know, and, and actually he prophesied and learned because this girl called uh, Jezebel was on his toes. And, and what do you see? Even when he he wanted to die, he was in the, I mean, um, in desperation, God is said for his feeding. And at the end of the day, the anointing works. Kindly make sure you are connected to a prophet in your life. Not a prophet of oil and the salt and all those things. Make sure your life, in this season, you are connected to a true prophet. Because let me tell you, what is less king that widow who just had literal for her to eat and her son and they die is because God saw her. And by the way, God is hard picking and choosing whoever he wants to honor and favor. That is God for you. And God is setting his servants there. That's why this time around, 
kindly don't just relate with us casually. The grace, somebody can just even appear without nothing. But the grace, the grace of the man of God who has gone to a widow, a man of God has gone to a woman without, without a husband. If it was today, the story would have been, what is that man doing there? And it, it, it would have been posted all over in the social media. That is God for you. And when the man of God has stayed there, the, no food never ceased there. The oil and the flour never ceased to be my god hallelujah that is god for you so kaidre kaidre in this season kaidre in this season arm yourself even with the grace of god of a man or a woman of god that is able to know that grace is able to minister comfort it is able to minister you know even provision my god have all you know paul is saying we make many rich uh, that is who we are <laughs> God bless you. So this is the word of God. That is it. So put your house in order. Live by faith. Walk by faith. God bless you. The Bible says without faith, it is not possible to praise God. So you need faith. You mean you need faith in the name of Jesus. And I mean, you're not going to struggle with it because why? Already the Spirit of God is giving us the inner transformation. The transitional transformation is already taking place. As we dwell in the shelter of the Most High, as we continue loving God, the operation is ongoing. So we are not going to struggle. Let me tell you, we shall become more beautiful this time. You shall become more productive. This is what we are seeing. Isaac is even harvesting, sowing and harvesting the same year. So as the business is of others are going down as their Christ. Uh, let me tell you, this is where now the church is coming in. Like the, the case scenario. By the way, what is happening in Egypt, for, I mean, uh, Pharaoh dreaming, it was a divine setup. So that Joseph can now come in and bring divine ideas, divine counsel. Now, this is it. And that's why the Bible says, we shall be sought after. Ramazi Kandorobozia.